Until the last few hours, he had not been a favorite on the list of candidates for the post of prime minister, but it was on him that Congolese President Felix Tshisekedi set his side to take over from Sylvester Ilunga, who was forced to resign about two weeks ago. The brand new prime minister, Samalu Konde, 43, and an engineer by training, is no novice in politics. He was a founding member of the Avenue du Congo ACO party, of which he was first deputy general secretary before becoming general secretary and was elected national deputy for Likazi in 2006. In 2014, he was promoted minister of youth sports and recreation under the chairmanship of Joseph Kabila, but he resigned from that position only a year later following his party's instructions. Avenue du Congo ACO was excluded from the presidential majority for speaking out against President Kabila's desire to run for a third term. Samalu Konde was then close to Moïse Katumbi by campaigning in the G7 coalition melting pot gathering the seven rebellious parties of the former majority of Joseph Kabila, coordinated by the latter. Subsequently, the man who approached Felix Tshisekedi succeeded Jacques Kamenga as head of Jekamin in June 2019, a position he held until his appointment as Prime Minister. And this new role, Samalu Konde is responsible for forming the new government team that will be responsible for translating the vision of the Congolese head of state into reality. While congratulating him, Moïse Katumbi did not fail to draw the attention of the new prime minister to some of the subjects on which he is expected.